explicitness. It is like going to a porno movie and um, seeing everything, only it's a porno hearing session and the kids are hearing everything. Mary Elizabeth Gore says she was shocked at what she was hearing. Gore is the mother of four and the wife of a United States senator. She's joined with other influential women to form the Parents Music Resource Center. Well, my 11-year-old likes Prince. However, on the album, Purple Rain, there is a song called Darling Nikki, which deals with the subject of masturbation, and that is in the lyrics. I did not feel that was appropriate for my then 10-year-old child to have purchased. Like Gore's group, the National PTA is asking record companies to voluntarily label records, tapes, and cassettes that may be considered obscene. While the parents' groups are calling for a voluntary restraint, some in the industry fear encroachment on the First Amendment. I'm very concerned that, that uh, you know, we're talking about some form of censorship here, which I absolutely do not believe in. A recent hit of Sheena Easton's called Sugar Walls about sexual arousal was yanked from several radio stations. The decision was, well, let's test it. We'll see what happens. We put it on. Blue is the music director for Z100, one of the top radio stations in the New York City area. His programming philosophy, if it's selling, he'll play it, unless he gets complaints. We received a number of complaints and letters from parents who felt that the record should not be played. So therefore, we felt it just wasn't worth playing it. It's uh, me, Freddie Snakeskin, here on KROQ FM. K Rock in Pasadena is known in the trade as a progressive rock station. We're not out here to sell sell sex. We're out here to um, play what our audience likes. The National Association of Broadcasters has stepped into the controversy. We're trying to tell the owners and the managers of these various broadcast properties to be sensitive to the music that their program directors and disc jockeys were playing. If there is to be censorship, then it should be in the home, and that's where it should start, and that's where it should end. But the kids will tell you the parents can't be everywhere. I don't think the mother can stop the child from listening to the radio or watching TV. Hey, why should they, you know, put a limit to what I want to listen to? It's a free country. We can do whatever we want to do. My parents, like, don't, don't like, they don't like me listening to the music, but I, I'm, I explain to them that it's like just normal music. So-called porn rock is expected to be the subject of congressional hearings this fall. Mark McCarthy, CBS News, Washington.